Our next demo comes from Ava Taylor. Ava is the director of social impact at Hootsuite. And as nonprofit organizations, we all need to demonstrate the impact of our work. So Ava is going to show us how we can use Hootsuite to prove the ROI of social and make data-driven decisions. So as mentioned, uh, we're here to have a quick five minute demonstration on how to prove the return on investment of social and how to make more data-driven decisions with Hootsuite. And I think this is a particularly valuable conversation for nonprofits because as we know, a lot of nonprofits are using social media, figuring out ways to do it better. They're not abundant with time resources and you need to do things efficiently and effectively. So hopefully a couple of tips here that will help. Just before we get started, my name's Ava and I've been, I was formerly the director of social media marketing globally at Hootsuite before moving into a dedicated role to social impact. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and LinkedIn and please reach out if you have specific questions. I did want to run just quickly a overview of Hootsuite for anyone who might not be familiar. We are a social media management platform, so we bring everything together in one platform across all of your networks. It makes life a lot easier to plan, schedule, and engage with all of your stakeholders. And we do have a Hoot giving program where we offer a discount on our product and our education. And the education in particular, you can take a lot of courses, find resources on how to do things on social media most effectively for your particular nonprofit. So let's get this demo starting. I am going to actually share a different tab here and that way we can go live into Hootsuite. So this is in my personal dashboard. Uh, we're just in the analytics tab here. And the first tool that I wanted to show you is best time to publish. And this is a neat little part of the platform that I'm not sure if anyone is using already, but what I love about this is once you're in the particular network that you're in looking at, you can actually find out what's the best time to publish based on all of your past data. It only requires 30 days of publishing to understand how do I extend reach? If I want to capture the attention of the most people at the right time on social media, what day and time should I publish? And so there is this kind of heat map here where you can see the number of fans online in those last 30 days. And it's also going to give you best days and times to publish the top three. And what's nice about this is that you can go from extending your reach to building awareness. Let's say you're running an awareness campaign about something that's happening in the world and you want more eyes on that content. If you want to increase engagement and build that community for your nonprofit, you can also specify for that. And driving traffic, I think, is a particularly important part because we know that at the end of the day, you're looking to acquire new donors or volunteers or signups or drive traffic to a fundraising page. And we've heard, uh, seen in multiple reports that over half of the traffic to fundraising campaigns can come from social media. So having this understanding and based on the goal that you're looking for, I think is really valuable. One other quick tip here. I really like kind of one click schedule for this particular time or day. And so when you hit that, it takes you straight into the composer already chosen the network for you. It's already picked the time for you for scheduling. And then you can even just pull content right from your media library. You can integrate with Canva and design directly in Hootsuite. And then you can hit schedule. The other quick piece I'd like to show you is under the new, I'm going to just pick a snapshot here that shows a mixed overview. So side-by-side -side comparison. When I hit create report, Let's say I've got a team of volunteers or I have a team at my nonprofit and I want us to all have the same information at the same time. What I really enjoy here is not only can you share the report with those colleagues or volunteers of yours, but scheduling is one of those little things that has saved my social marketing team a lot of time where we can pick the format, the frequency, we can even make it encrypted for security reasons. And we can choose who we're going to send it to. And then at the same time each week, we can all receive the same data at the same time and go into a meeting and understand what are the decisions we need to make? Do we have the data for it? And let's see how we can refine how much time we're spending on activities to be most effective with our time and make sure that we're addressing the needs of our stakeholders. So those are kind of the quick tips I wanted to share. There's obviously so much more I would love to show about this platform. But at the, at the end of the day, I hope the main takeaway is to please check out our computing program. I reach out if you have questions and we are here to help as many nonprofits as we can succeed with social. Thank you.